everyone, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here again this week with my weekly makeup basket. You are looking at last week's basket. I will have that linked below if you want to see which products are in here exactly. And then I also included a haul in that video, so check that out. It'll be linked down below. But I am going to put away this week's products and pick new products. Whoop, whoop. And yeah, this just helps me rotate through my products and get quicker, get ready more quickly in the morning. So if you want to see which products we pick out together, then keep watching. Okay, so I did a little reorganizing because it was looking really full in here. And so I just put all the palettes on this side and then all single things on this side. They're not necessarily separated by type of prod product. They're, they're just, you know, they're there. Palette or non-palette. Anyways, um, we always start with eyes, so why don't we just go ahead and do that. I uh, played with the Avent Pop um, Nouveau, Nouveau Chic last week, and I really liked it. And you can tell that I really enjoyed this color right here. But I am going to put it away for the week, and I'm going to grab um, this Milani uh earthy elements. I hauled this a little while ago, but I just haven't given, I pulled it once and I haven't given it much love. So I am going to pull just this eye palette for the week and I will put back this NYX one. Also my um, lip, I'm sorry, my mascara only has like a week or two left of life. And I don't know about you guys, but I like to open up my mask well, okay, let me back up. I only use one mascara at a time, usually. Um, and the one mascara I have is almost dead. So I like to open up the new one a couple weeks with, uh, within the old one expiring. So the old one is the Bare Minerals Lash Domination. So I want to oh, go ahead and play with the Lancome. This is the primer one and then this is grandiose mascara i got these uh christmas time you guys probably remember me hauling them but i'm really excited to play with them and i have some other mascaras to open that i bought before these but i just can't wait i gotta open them right now so i'm really excited to play with them and to see what all the hype's about and all that good stuff and i know some people ask me for my feedback on them so uh, give me a couple of weeks and then i'll let you guys know how i'm doing with them so that's what we'll do for eyes, and I think that is good for that. Moving along to face, um, okay, so let's see here. I pulled these last week, the IT Cosmetics Illuminating CC Plus, um, yeah, CC Cream. And then the Hangover RX by Too Faced. I really love these. I posted a declutter video this week. I'll link that down below. But I am wearing only these two things and that mascara. So uh, go check out that video if you want to see how it is on my face. But I really do like both of them. And I'm going to keep them and not return them. And the IT Cosmetics one was my color. So um, it looks dark in the tube. But on my skin it applies nicely. But I am going to put them back because I... Also got the um, backlight primer by Becca. Here's the point where I usually zoom you guys in, so let's go. Okay, so here is the Becca by backlighting backlight primer. Um, this is a luminous one, so um, it's so fancy. It has a pump. It's a glass bottle. Um, I'm gonna play with it. Finally, I'm so excited to use it. So I will pull that along with it. I'm gonna keep using this Laura Mercier. Tinted moisturizer. It is in a project pan, and this is in the color nude. Absolutely adore it, and I'm hoping that the combination of these two wear well together. I do have a setting powder in a project pan, so I'm good on that. I am going to go ahead and put back this NYX finishing powder. This is in the banana color. I'm going to put that back, and let me think. Um, let me go back to this um, contour palette by e.l.f. I pulled it for a couple weeks and then took a break last week, but I'm going to go back to it because I just like how easy it is to use every day. So I will go ahead and pull that again. And 
let's see. I did go ahead and pick up the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I had $33 in Ulta points because I had five time rewards points for it being like my one year with Ulta Platinum or something like that. I don't know. So when I got that big order last week with the gift card, it gave me $33 um, for the to use. <laughs> so I bought the Naked Skin and this is in the color Fair Neutral. Honestly, it's uh, kind of light in the what was it? The light? No, the medium neutral? No, light neutral probably would have been a better choice, but I was impatient and the, my Ulta said they don't usually keep that one in stock and I didn't want to pay for shipping, so I just went ahead and picked this up and I can make it work, but um, I wore it with the NYX finishing powder and it did not set well together. It just was a creepy mess. So I'm hoping that the NYX uh, under eye setting powder. I'm sorry, the e.l.f. I'm all over the place, people. What's happening? But I hope the e.l.f. setting powder will work well with it. The one in this kit, it's like a tan and not a banana color. So I'm hoping that that they go well together. So um, I do have a blush in that e.l.f. palette, but I'm thinking that I might pull another one to play with. Um... When I was reorganizing my makeup, I was, like, swatching through all of these blushes. Okay, so my camera cut off while I was filming, and so I, let's see where we were at. I think it cut off when I was talking about the e.l.f. contour palette and the Urban Decay uh, concealer, so... I also pulled the Maybelline Color Tattoo, and this is in Bronze Truffle. I got this around Christmas, and I want to give it some love. Also, when I was reorganizing, I was going through these um, blushes, and I was looking at the Tarte ones because I haven't really given them much love. So I'm going to give Classic some love this week. It's a really pretty color. Um, let's see, that's kind of more true to color. Uh... Yeah, so I'm going to pull that and give it some love. I also wanted to give a shout out to the Becca Pearl Pressed. Um, I said last week that I wasn't sure if I made the right choice, but I wanted to tell you that I really love it. I think that it might be kind of too white for some people. Like on their skin, it might just look kind of too much like a white powder. But I personally think that it's gorgeous sorry my dog's walking around but um I think it's gorgeous and if you put it on first and then put your blush on you get like this very pretty like the lights just hitting you right and you've slept and drank all your water and you're doing everything with your life that you're supposed to do it's very much that type look which is crazy from a highlight but I love it and I will definitely be um, keeping it. I think that it could be high maintenance for some people. So if you just want to like swatch it and play with it at um, Ulta or Sephora before purchasing it, I would do that. But I really like it. And yeah. So I'm going to put it away for the week but because I am trying to pan the benefit what's up. So I need to give it love. But you guys know how I feel. And then I picked lip products which are right here. And Oh, excuse me. I went with the Buxom. This is Berry Blast. I love, love, love the um, Buxom lip glosses. I like that they are minty. I think the mintiness might be too much for some people, but I really like it. And I want to get a full size one day once I go through or declutter some of the stuff that I have right now. But, yeah. So, Sorry that it got cut off and you didn't really miss too much. I think I was probably just blabbing about who knows what. You don't need to know about it. I don't even remember what it was about. So <laughs> let me organize my basket and give one more look at this. And I will be right back. Hey everyone, here is my weekly makeup basket for the week. It is small, <laughs> small collection of items for me. Uh, but I'm really excited to use them all. I like pulling fewer items so that I can really dive in and take advantage of each 
item. Make sure to check out the links that I mentioned down below if you want to check out those videos. And I will see you all in next week's video. Bye!